Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel of Beyond Consultancy, where we discuss all things operations excellence. My name is Herman Lemmens. In this keynote, we will show how to apply the economic order quantity. This keynote is the second of a series. In the first keynote, we explained the analytics of the economic order quantity itself. In case you did not see it, it may be a good idea to take a look at it before you continue with this one. In the remaining keynotes, we will discuss other order size optimization models. The economic order quantity determines the optimal order size at which the sum of the total inventory and ordering costs become minimal. This sum can be expressed as follows. Where D is the total demand for the period, S is the cost of making an order, and H is the inventory cost per unit. The optimal order size is determined through the following formula. On the next pages, we will go through an example. Assume a rate of demand of 400 units per week and that we have 48 open weeks per year. The unit purchase price is 15 euro and the annual stock carrying charges are 20%. The ordering costs are 50 euro per order. The questions are, what is the optimal order lot size and what are the corresponding annual costs? At this point, you may want to pause the video to make the exercise yourself. I will wait a few moments and let us continue. We need to complete some of the inputs first. The total demand for the year is 19,200, namely 48 weeks times 400 units per week. The inventory cost is 3 euro per unit, which is derived from the 20% carrying charge over the 15 euro purchasing price. We can input these into the economic order quantity formula and determine that the optimal order size is 800 units. From this we can derive that the ordering frequency is 24 orders per year, or inversely, that we have to place an order every two weeks. The total cost at the optimal point is 2,400 euro. We note that in the optimal point the inventory costs are equal to the ordering costs. We may do a sensitivity analysis of the total cost function by varying the order size around the optimum value. For an order size of 700 units instead of the 800, the total cost function increases to 2,421 euro. For an order size of 900 units, the total cost function becomes 2,417. We notice that the cost function does not look exactly symmetrical around the optimum. Let us look at the graph. The graph shows that indeed the total cost is not a symmetrical function. An important lesson which we can learn from this sensitivity analysis is that a variation of about 10% in the lot size results in a cost increase of less than 1%. This means, in this case, that the optimum point is very robust. This has practical implications. Imagine that, due to constraints in the pallet loading, we always have to order in multiples of 250 units. Making an order of 750 units or 3 pallets will bring the total cost function sufficiently close to the lowest value which corresponds with the optimal order size of 800. And before concluding this keynote, we will do a parameter analysis. In this analysis, we will vary one parameter at a time while we analyze the impact on the total cost and on the optimal order size. In the charts, the red curves depict the total cost function from the example, namely where the ordering cost S equals 50 euro, the inventory cost H equals 3 euro, and the annual demand D equals 19,200 units. The economic order quantity sits at 800 units. In the chart on the left, we notice that a larger ordering cost S leads to higher total cost, and consequently also to a larger order size. The black line connects the lowest points of the successive curves. In the chart on the right, a larger inventory cost H also leads to higher total cost, but it shifts the optimum towards a smaller order size. Also here the black line connects the minima. And with this we have come to the close of this keynote. Thank you for being here. I hope you found it interesting. Please leave your views in the comment section below and I hope to see you again.